Today, we'll be covering options trading blunder number 11 in our series on the biggest mistakes that options traders make, both in their trading and in their thinking. Hi, I'm Seth Freuberg, the head trader of SMB Capital's options trading desk here in Manhattan. And the guys on our trading desk have been through most of the mistakes that we cover in this series and have come out the other side as long-term successful traders because they learned from their mistakes, of course. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a common and easy to avoid execution error that all options traders tend to make at one time or another and exactly how to avoid it. So if you really want to improve as a trader, then I'd stick around because I think you're going to find this eye opening. I'm Seth Freuberg, and I'm the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk. SMB Capital is a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan, and we provide capital for options and equity traders from all over the world trading both remotely and in our offices here in New York City. Now, I'd like to suggest that you click on our subscribe button right now so that you don't miss any of our free trading videos that we produce for traders and investors all over the world. They're really very valuable. Okay, so unlike other types of trading, option strategies involve combining short and long options into what are known as options strategies. And options traders are a little goofy and they have nicknames for each of their strategies like butterflies, iron condors, straddles, the rhino. There's even a strategy known as a strangle, believe it or not, which I guess can get kind of creepy, but in any event, each of these names actually has a specific meaning and represents a specific combination of short and long options. And you don't have to buy or sell these options one at a time. Your broker will give you the right to buy or sell the whole combination at once in what are known as complex options orders. They're really not that complex at all. That's just what they're called, but they're not quite as simple as just buying one call option or selling one put option. You're buying combinations of options and some of them are long and others are short. And so your online broker will provide you with a menu of complex orders for options that you can choose from. But before we get into that, I wanna do an extremely fast review of how stock options work. So those of you who aren't familiar with them will understand this example. For those of you who are, this will be really fast, so just hang in there. Okay, so what's known as a call option on a stock entitles the buyer of that option to purchase 100 shares of that stock at a certain price called the strike price of that option, regardless of what price the stock is actually trading at, at any time before that option expires. What's called a put option, on the other hand, entitles the buyer of that put to sell 100 shares of a stock he owns at the strike price of that put, again, regardless of what price the stock is trading at any time before that option expires. The buyer of the option pays what's called a premium to the seller of the option because the seller of the option is taking the risk that the stock will go past the strike price of the option, in which case the buyer can exercise his option. So in the case of a call, even if the stock has gone way above the strike price of the call, the call buyer can exercise his right to buy 100 shares at that strike price. In other words, he's entitled to buy the shares way below market. He could flip them the next minute and make a huge profit on those shares in that case. Or conversely, on the put option, even if the market goes way below the strike price of the put option, the buyer of that put option has the right to sell his shares of that stock at the strike price of the put option that he's bought, even if the stock price has gone way below the strike price of the put which effectively puts a floor on how much he can lose owning that stock and can save the put owner a lot of money. Okay, so with that in mind, let's take a look at a particular strategy that is known as the butterfly. And we'll show you this example by using options for Amazon, which expire in June. So the way that a butterfly is structured typically is to sell options right where the market is trading, which in this case is right at around 33.30, and you can see we sold 20 Amazon call options at that strike price. Then we go uh, an equidistant amount from that price and we chose 70 points in this example, up to 3,400 on the upside and down to 3,260 on the downside in this case. And at those strike prices, we went ahead and bought 10 calls at 3,260 while simultaneously buying 10 calls up at 
3,400. And so you can see if we add them up, there are 20 short calls and 20 long calls, and that is normal for option spreads. Typically, the number of long and short calls will be the same for very important reasons that we can go over in another lesson. But for now, it's just important to know that most complex options order tickets that you can pull up on an online broker's menu of tickets will contain an equal number of short and long options. Now, before we get into exactly how to execute this order and why it's so important to avoid the giant mistake that fledgling options traders make that we're covering this in this video, I wanted to let you know that if you want to learn the details of three additional option strategies that our pro traders use, including the unique options trick that allows you to make money while you wait to buy stocks or ETFs at the price you want, the options income strategy that allows you to make consistent money whether the market goes up, down, or sideways, and how to make money on a stock or index trade even if you're outright wrong on the direction, then just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open the free workshop registration page in a new window, so don't worry, you won't lose this video. Or you can register directly for free at optionsclass.com. Believe me, you don't want to miss this, so pause this video, sign up now, and then resume watching. Okay, now, the exact reason you would get into this trade is something that we can discuss another time, and in fact, we've covered this in lots of videos on our channel, but for now, Please just accept that if this trade is executed properly and Amazon's price is anywhere between $32.65 and $33.95 on the day that these options expire, the trader can make a whole lot of money on this trade. But the more expensive the butterfly is, the thinner that range of outcomes is. So let's first look at what this butterfly would cost if it executed the right way. So first off, we bought those 3,400 calls for 122.38, and each of those represents 100 shares of Amazon. So you multiply that by 100, and we bought 10 of them, remember? So you can see that the total cost is $122,380 for those. But don't worry, because selling 20 of those 33.30 calls brought in $310,506. But then don't get too excited about that because as you can see from the calculation, buying those 3260 calls were quite expensive at a total cost of 192,380, which when you net it all down, actually produces a very modest cost of $4,200. Okay, so the whole point of this video is the discussion about exactly how this gets executed. You see, for every option, there is a bid and an ask, like there is with any security. The bid is the best price in the world that someone's willing to admit anyway that they'd be willing to pay for that option if you sold it to them. And the ask is the best price in the world that someone is willing to admit that they would sell you that option for. But by no means do you need to sell for the bid or pay for the ask. With options, the bid-ask spreads can be very wide and you can actually usually get filled at somewhere around halfway between the bid and the ask if you're a little patient and have some experience. And the prices that we're showing you on this slide right now are assuming that you would get filled at the midpoint of the bid and the ask for each of the options in this butterfly position. So let's drill down now more deeply to see what the bid-ask spread is for each of these options so you can understand the magnitude of this issue. So as you can see, the bid for the 3400 call is 121.75 and the ask is 123. So the midpoint between those two prices rounds to 122.38, as you can see. And the midpoint of the 33.30 is 155.28, and the midpoint of the 32.60 is 192.38. And so that is why on this slide, we just showed you that we are using those midpoint prices that you just saw laid out on the previous slide, because you should be able to fill at those midpoint prices or very close to those when you're entering this trade. So when you fill in your order ticket to buy this butterfly, you would always select what is known as a limit order because then you get to define the price you're willing to pay and you put your price in at the midpoint. But instead, if you make the massive blunder, in fact, options trading blunder or number 11, and instead you select market order, here is the dreadful result of that decision. You see, 
When you enter a market order, your broker will automatically fill the trade so that you pay the ask for options that you are buying and you accept the bid for options you are selling. So what that means in this case is that you'd pay 123 instead of the mid price of 122.38 for the 3,400 calls. You'd receive 154.40 instead of the mid price of 155.28 for the 3,330 calls and you'd pay 193.30 instead of 192.38 for the 3260 calls. Now, it may not be completely obvious to you how catastrophic this is, but let's go back and calculate exactly what this means to your Amazon butterfly trade. Well, now, instead of paying 122,380 like we did before, now we're paying the ask of 123,000 for the 3400 calls, an increase of $620 just on that option from what we paid before. Even worse, we're only receiving $308,800 for the 203330 calls we're selling, whereas before we sold those for 310560, which means that we're receiving $1,760 less for those. And finally, we get crushed by paying a 193.3 for the 3260 calls when before we paid 192.380, an additional 920 more. And so the total cost of this honestly stupid market order entry is $7,500, $3,300 more than the limit order, which is a full 78% greater than you should have paid if you had simply entered a limit order at the mid price and where you should get filled or at least very close to that cost. So I hope that this video has convinced you that just about the worst possible mistake that an options trader can make is to put his order in at market versus a limit order where you have a good chance at getting filled at the mid price between the bid and the ask, which will happen the majority of the time. And that's because you're not just taking a bath on one option, rather you're taking that bath in this case on 40 options, the 20 you bought and the 20 you sold. That's just a disgraceful waste of money when you had the easy option of putting your order in at the mid simply by selecting limit price and then entering the order in at the mid price, which most brokers calculate for you automatically and is extremely easy to select. Professional traders will never make this mistake and you shouldn't either. Now, just to remind you, if you're serious about your trading, you need to check out the free intensive options class that we're currently running, where you'll learn three real world option strategies that our professional options traders use all the time. Just click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen, or you can just head on over to optionsclass.com to register for this free workshop directly. It really is a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now before you miss it. And please don't forget to hit our subscribe button right now so that you don't miss any of our free training videos to help you up your game as an options trader.